Welcome to Buff Zone. My name is Kyle Ringo. This is Neil Welk. We cover the Colorado football team for the Daily Camera newspaper. Neil, the Buffs aren't going bowling again. Kyle, that's not really a lot of big news. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kyle, you're right. Uh, loss to Iowa State kind of ended things. A uh, very disappointing game in so many ways. Uh, and uh, could have been uh, the beginning of the end for Dan Hawkins is what some people are saying. Yeah, uh, this could be it. Uh, they're coming down the home stretch here. They got two games left. They go to Oklahoma State on Thursday night and then finish up with the annual grudge match against the Cornhuskers the day after Thanksgiving. And, and I guess maybe we'll find out uh, shortly after that whether or not uh, Coach Dan Hawkins is going to continue on for a fifth year or whether they're going to make a a coaching change uh, or m maybe they'll just tweak some of the coaching staff who, who knows but uh, the athletic director at this point hasn't been willing to really talk about it all he said is that uh, you know they're trying to do their best to uh, support the program support the coaches the players and give them give them every opportunity to succeed and uh, that to me is uh, the dreaded sort of vote of confidence. The dreaded vote of no confidence, yes, exactly. I think, Kyle, you know, with these last two games, I <coughs> think that if they'd have beaten Iowa State and then won maybe one or, or both of these last games, I think uh, it would have been uh, uh, a reason enough to bring Dan Hawkins back. But I, I think with the, the way they've been playing, uh, so inconsistent, 11 penalties in that game the other day, uh, down inside the 10-yard line four times, they only get three points out of it. Uh, you know, barring a, you know, 50 to 10 and back-to-back -back 50 to 10 wins in these last two games, uh, I, I, my bet would be that there's going to be a coaching change. And, and, you know, winning at Oklahoma State on Thursday night is not going to be easy. That's a heck of a team. That's, that's uh, you know, a second BCS possibility for the Big 12. Yeah, uh, Oklahoma State is, is gunning for 10 wins right now. 10 wins won't be easy for them. they got to beat uh, the Buffs and then win the ad annual Bedlam game with, with Oklahoma the following week. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure that I see that happening for the Cowboys, but it, it definitely could happen. They're a quality football team. Uh, a lot of guys who played in big games over the last couple of years. In fact, the senior class at Oklahoma State has won uh, 31 games now. And, and if they win against the Buffs on Thursday night, they'll tie the uh, – the the record for the second best uh, you know four year stretch yeah c accumulation over four years with with 32 victories so these guys have played a lot of football they're they're a good team and and maybe they can win uh, ten games but uh, the Buffs are in a decidedly different situation they're they're just trying to end their road streak uh, which has stretched to ten games now longer than two years and and kind of playing for, for, for pride down the street. I, I think they're playing for pride, and I think that they're also, if you look at some of those guys, they've got to be playing, you know, some of the younger guys especially, playing toward next year, trying to get, you know, established, whether they have a new coach or not, trying to establish a little foothold on some of their positions. I mean, Tyler Hansen still has a lot to gain with two games left to play at quarterback. Uh, Rodney Stewart, a running back. Uh, Marcus Seamus, a wide receiver. And that offensive line, I think there's a lot of things to gain out of these next couple of weeks for him if it's important to him. And I think, so I, I expect him to come out and play hard. I certainly don't think this team is going to just, you know, lay down and die over these last couple of games. I wouldn't expect that. Uh, they've fought to the end of every game they've played in this year. Uh, a lot of those games haven't gone the way they wanted them to. But, uh, you know, these last two games, there is a lot to be gained here Number one, on Thursday night, if they are some ab somehow able to go to Oklahoma State and win, they get get that monkey off their back. They don't have to, you know, ne next season when nine months goes by and, and they're on their way to Cal next season uh, for their first true road game in 2010, they won't be faced with all these questions again of why can't you guys win on the road and, and whatnot. And that's sure to happen if, if they lose on Thursday night. That's going to follow them throughout the off season. It'll be an issue again next year. So it'd be nice to get that, you know, monkey off their back. And then, you know, it's always nice to beat Nebraska, no matter how your season has gone. If you're a Colorado Buffalo, you want to beat Nebraska. Oh yeah, that always that, that's a great way. If you can't have a bowl game, you know, beating Nebraska going in, you know, going into the off season would leave a good taste in their mouths, at least in that respect. It would it would, uh, you know, give them a little momentum. Give them something to think about as the as you know during the off season maybe you know some confidence and all those kind of things but uh, 
you know, this upcoming game against uh, Oklahoma State, that's a big game for them. And, uh, you know, to be honest, I, I don't expect them to go down there and win that game. I just think that's, that's you know, Oklahoma State has so much writing on it that uh, I think that's a tough situation for Colorado. Neil, I didn't expect to make history with this show. With this show, I know I'm going to have to pick against the Buffs. I think I've done wow. that once in about the last five years. But I, I don't remember you ever doing it. I yeah. mean, I'm sure it's happened in history, but I seriously don't remember yeah, it I happening. think this is, this, is a, this is a game that there's just so much riding with Oklahoma State that they have so much going on. But like you said, possible BCS berth, still the outside chance of winning the Big 12 South. The, Texas hasn't clinched it yet. So... Uh, this is this is a game for them to uh, you know to and it's on national TV. This is a program that wants to be among the nation's elite, and this is you know one more win gives them that tenth win really puts them into that category. I'm stunned to hear Neil Welk say he's going to go against the Buffs, but before we get there and let you officially make your prediction for the week, uh, let's just talk a little bit about I is this a good thing for the Buffs I in their current situation with all the questions surrounding the program and and you know having this losing streak on the road I is it a good thing to or is it sort of maybe a little bit of bad luck to have this game fall right in this a at this time on national television ESPN with all the spotlight on the program. You don't necessarily want the spotlight on the program nationally right now at this point in time. Oh, I, I don't think there's, you know, I don't think there's anything good, you know, that, that, that uh, you know, that good luck or bad luck about it. It's just the way the schedule came out. I mean, it's just the way these things have happened. If, if Hawkins wins a few games down the stretch here, this is all of a sudden a game that, that could be great for. I mean, they're playing on national TV, but they, they finish up the last two games on national TV, one on ESPN, one on ABC. And uh, it's a chance for them to at least make a statement and say, you know, the program's, uh, you know, still got some hope and still got some life in it. And I think that if the, if the players take it upon themselves to show that rather than playing for their coach or playing, you know, for in that regard, you know, I think some good things can come out of it, no doubt. It, I, I guess I'm just saying that you definitely want to, if you're a member of this Colorado football team, you want to come out and you want to play the very best game you can possibly play because if you're, in a situation where you're getting blown out, the the entire second half of a game or something is going to be those announcers talking about the future of your head coach mm -hmm. and, and that sort of thing. That's what you definitely want to avoid if you're if you're above but this yeah, week. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think that's what you want to avoid. But I don't think there's anything you know they they obviously can't do anything about it. And like I said, if the schedule had turned out differently, if uh, they played on Saturday or if they'd won some games coming into here, it, w it would be a different situation. But uh, as they say, it is what it is. So, you know, hopefully they can make the best out of it. All right. So, uh, Neil, you know, make, I think make you know, a little history, a little Buffs own history. I, I look at this game and I, I you know, I, I, I see Oklahoma State with just so much to gain out of it. The one wild card is is whether their quarterback's healthy enough to play and whether they have to, you know, turn to a backup quarterback. But I think this is a game that Oklahoma State. Uh, their offense is playing well. Colorado's, you know, uh, offense has been struggling in the red zone. Uh, the road woes, all those things. I think you look at a collar, you know, at an Oklahoma State 34-20 type of game. That's right about what the point spread is, isn't it? Is that uh, what it is? I think it started right about at 14 points. Uh, I obviously agree. I, I haven't seen anything out of this team. I've said it over and over again all year long that it leads me to believe they're going to win on the road. But I do believe that this this game is going to be a little bit closer than some people think. I, I think it'll be a little bit closer than that 14 points, and uh, I, I don't know what it is. I just I just kind of feel like the Buffs played poorly at Iowa State, and that was just a couple of days ago. It's still fresh in their minds, and I, I think actually that is going to help them in this game play a little bit play a little bit better. But I just think this team it can't match Oklahoma State talent for talent. And so I'm going to say Oklahoma State wins 34, and the Buffs actually score 31. Okay. See you next week for Nebraska Week. Be great. Be great. Oh, boy. Can't wait to be in practice all week with the Nebraska songs playing on the loudspeakers. That's awesome.